Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We're starting off right where we left off, and we gotta write a poem. Now, this looks like a, I thought I was gonna get to write my own poem, but this kind of looks like uh, we're gonna be just kind of selecting things. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna start off with ambient, <laughs> ambient chocolate, <laughs> ambient massacre, <laughs> ambient chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> contamination <laughs> what <laughs> ambient chocolate contamination <laughs> vivid what vivid fantasy <laughs> uh vivid fantasy fear what is even happening right now let's let's try and make it a little bit sweeter now heartbeat unrestrained um Unrestrained whirlwind. <laughs> oh my god. Boop! What? Yes. Boop? What? Oh, there's nothing else to go with boop. What? Boop, laugh, and, <laughs> and, and embrace. What is even happening right now? Let's see here. So, oh, that doesn't even make any sense. Okay, so we need seven more words. So we'll get dark again. Death. <laughs> what? What? This doesn't even make any sense anymore. So death, pure. What? Sadness and peace. Agonizing misfortune. And we got one word, two words left. Let's end it on a high note. Spinning. Anxiety? <laughs> what? Anxiety. Okay. That was a very weird poem. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a weird game. And it's kind of like, it's a, it's, a, it's a visual novel. So it's a little bit different. But it's going to get interesting. I've heard the story is really interesting. And it could get dark, weird, or sexual. So fair warning who knows what's gonna happen i make bad choices with my life so it's probably gonna end badly in the game we'll see how it goes <laughs> somebody said they wanted me to do girl voices for the girls i feel like that's a horrible idea but i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna try to do it <laughs> oh this is gonna be super bad it's gonna be really 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 bad Hi again, Bob! <laughs> I can't do it. Nope. <laughs> uh, I hate myself right now. Glad to, see <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry, says Bob. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks to keeping up the promise, Bob. That's going to be my girl voice. It's just going to be slightly more high-pitched. I hope this isn't overwhelming of a community for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sari told me you didn't even want to join the club this year. And at last year, too. I don't know if you plan to come here and hang out or what. What? But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Bob always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Hope he helps me with busy work without even me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room... How dependable. Siori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. What? Wow. Sayori, you can't be doing that. You can't be setting houses on fire. It's not how it works. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, no. The love triangle is exploding already. How come? You and Bob can become good friends, too. <laughs> Sayori. Hmm? Dot, 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 dot. 
As usual, Siri seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. <laughs> oh, Yuri even brought you some today, you know, brought you something today. Oh, what did you bring for me? Yuri? Well, Siori? Me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? She looks awfully shy about it. N never mind. Siori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, what do I do? Give me my present! I want it! I want it now. Oh, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Way to reel it in, Bob! You're magnificent. It'll make me happy no matter what. I keep smashing my hat on my microphone. It's a disaster. There we go. See, she's looking a little bit more comfortable now. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Oh, a book. Oh, you're so sweet. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know... Discuss it if you wanted. Oh, look at her looking all shy. Playing with her hair. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She's not doing it on accident. It's a trap, Bob. It's a trap. Run for your life before your heart is smashed and you feel super sad. And I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. He's not going to read it, guys. He's going to pretend he's not going to read it. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. It's going to take me like five years. I don't read. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siori and Monica are having a cheery conversation. What about my poem? They don't care about my poem? I'm a, I'm, I'm a poetic genius. No, I'm not. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Okay. Okay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. Oh, he's in love. He was given a book. I'm in love. Bob is... I am Bob. I'm in love. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. She wants the distraction. I catch a glimpse of her over the cover book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Oh. Oh, oh we've got a change in music. Oh. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Oh, they're in love! I'm in love. We're in love. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. Common excuse? It's a lie. They were not just spacing out. I'm only just sensing I had made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was forced, then I would probably wouldn't be noticed in the first place. Ah. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious how come you have two copies of the same book. Why do you have two copies of the same book? That is a very good question. Uh, now you made her uncomfortable again, Bob. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... Oh god, I just happened to buy two of them. <laughs> what? That makes no sense, Yuri. That makes no sense at all. Who does that? Nobody. Unless you're trying to woo someone. Then it makes sense. Ah, <sighs> I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. You gotta stop being so nervous there, Yuri. But once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging and relatable story. What is it about? Tell me what it's about. Engage me. <laughs> What's it about? Hey, there we go. See? Well, mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. 
I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her... Wait, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... Dark, isn't it? It's very dark. Here made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri likes it dark. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Bob? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into these things. <laughs> She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. She's dark and kinky, but super shy. It's just those kinds of stories. They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be a naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel I should have let you know that I have this problem. Uh-oh. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying anything strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Oh, now she's all shy again. Good job, Bob. Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh, yeah, she's... Oh, no, she's not excited. You don't have to. What, what are you saying? Of course I have to. Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. <laughs> Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. All right, if it's... If <laughs> It's fine if I sit here, right? Oh, you're gonna make her super nervous now. I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with somebody. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. <laughs> All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. Oh, she's creeping. She's creeping. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. And there we go again! I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's and hold my book between the two of them. Oh! What a masterful... move! <laughs> I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh, baby. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead I use my right hand to hold on to the open book. Huh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, it's so sweet! She turns the page for me and I hold the book. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. <laughs> this is such a weird thing. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way... I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to the to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. As if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you are you ready for what? Oh god. <laughs> to turn the page. Oh, sorry. No, definitely way too distracted. You probably smell good, too. I have no idea. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glanced over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. Oh, Billy. 
I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. <laughs> it's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, this is not going to work out. It's not going to work out. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting off the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Oh my god. Hey, Yuri. This might be silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she's also second guesses all the things she says and does. Like she's afraid that she'll do something wrong. That does sound like Yuri. It's not like I can see in your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. I don't think she liked that very much. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Bob... That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Ooh, wait, Yuri, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Exactly. See, this guy's just like me. Just a disaster. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess some more meant that it's kind of cute. <gasps> uh -huh. What are you saying all of a sudden? <gasps> oh, oh. Okay. Oh, Monica. Monica, you're killing my game. What are you doing? Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we shared today's poem. Oh, now you want to get to the poem. My magnificent poem. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri excels spared from finishing her thoughts. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. Oh, I ruined Yuri's day. Tag, the ruiner of hopes and dreams. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Oh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. <laughs> uh, I guess I'd do some reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Oh, masterful plan there, sir. I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. What? That's not even a good answer. That just leaves us open for failure. You know, if you want something, just say what you want. Otherwise, we're going to say the wrong thing every freaking time. Like, he's going to say, I'll just read it on my own then. Then you'll be super sad, and it's going to be terrible. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. See? Bob, you fell for the trap, Bob. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right, I feel like a teacher now. Oh my god. I stand up, and I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem? I did, Monica, and it's the best poem ever. It's a little dark, and it gets kind of cheery in the middle, and it ends really weird. It's the best thing ever. I hope they actually read it, and like, there's a reaction to the word combinations. I have no idea if there will be, though. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Siri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Siri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh. Who should we show my poem to first? I like Yuri, so I'm going to go with Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I'll start with her. <laughs> I can trust her opinion, to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional! Oh! I bet she says every poem's exceptional, though. What was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, then she ends up covering her whole face. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. He's going to hate me. What? Why would I hate you? You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh, that's 
I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. <laughs> what? Oh, this is definitely not anything. It doesn't have anything to do with what you put into the poem. I guess probably writing the poem doesn't even matter. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh. Yuri stares me blankly, then looks at my poem again. It's just dumb luck, Yuri. That's all. Well, I know that. It just meant, uh... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down for more thoroughly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> this is the reason I would I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. Interesting. The end result is that both style... Uh, both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. <laughs> biased? How? With a poem? That doesn't make any sense. Well, never mind. What? No, I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Oh! I want to read it. Is it about me? I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, hello. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining sheet light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. <laughs> what is that? Does that say calms, calms breathing air of the present but living in the past? The light tickles. Is that what that says? Flickers. Flickers. This, it's a super small screen, so I'm having trouble reading it. I flicker back. Oh, it was amazing. This is the best poem ever. I'm sorry of such terrible handwriting. You have majestic handwriting. My handwriting looks like a chimp did it in real life. I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read. <laughs> well, I just don't read script very often. I don't. I can't even remember the last time I read script. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. Not at all. It was perfect. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> uh -huh. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Bob. Really? Are you sure? felt like it was. I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance at it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Hmm. Interesting. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past and soon to be left without nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so I don't, I don't think she read mine. I think she's just trying to be sweet because she likes me. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Eh, you know, 
I was really nervous about doing all of this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Bob. Uh, me too. <laughs> uh, so do we have to... Can I skip? I don't want to read anybody else's poem. I like Yuri. Uh, you know what? Sayori brought us here. She's our friend. We should probably be nice to Sayori, right? Right? I, I think so. Ah... This is a good poem, Bob. Are you sure it's your first time? <laughs> of course. Of course it's my first time. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. So... Let me know in the comments below if you want to read if you want me to read the girls parts in a girly voice I will try to in the next video if you guys tell me to in the comments. Uh, I'm still stuffly right now like Because uh, I was I've been sick So I don't even know if I could do a girl voice without like coughing all over myself or anything But um, if that's the thing you guys want let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll I'll do it I'll embarrass myself. I got no shame I'll even do it for the rest of the video and then you guys can tell me if you want me to continue that way or not not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in this club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's like I said before, Bob. <laughs> I sound like some, some one of those creepy puppets. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm just making myself laugh. It's terrible. Deep <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it's because of the stuffy. It's making it sound like a creepy puppet. Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. <laughs> oh, God. You're trying new things like this is for, for other people. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's something not only really- I can't do it. I'll practice. I can't do it with the stuff he knows. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. N knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Oh, I'll read it. I'll read it. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. What do we got here? Oh, it's a little bit longer than the last one. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast! <laughs> That's the best poem ever. Sayori. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! It's just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean! I still tried my best. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Especially the last line. I want breakfast. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast, okay? It's true. It's true. I get all cranky. Aw. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. 
Well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, who is next? Ah, uh, uh, the Grumpy Monica is next. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Having a good time so far. This is not Grumpy Monica. Natsuki's the grumpy one. I forgot. Ah, uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever want to any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. That is true. Anyway, I wanted to share your poem with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> you and your cute, cute little stance. God, don't worry, Bob. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, well, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm hmm. Great job, Bob. I was going, oh, with my head while reading it. You are a liar. These people are all lying to me. You guys saw the poem I made. There's no way no anybody like that. It's really met I mean it was metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. It was pretty deep, wasn't it? I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know what Yuri likes in this kind of writing, right? Oh. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Siari, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to de derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to go something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It could take years of practice, when I'm which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry, Monica. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. Hmm. Ah, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Oh, <laughs> well, that's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> what if I want to impress you, Monica? No, I want to impress Yuri. I like Yuri. I don't know what it is about Yuri. It's the shyness. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. They all say that, and they're all way better than me. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh. Oh, it's a long one. Okay. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direct sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see! I reel blind like a film left out in the sun! But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched from the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A whole infinite choices. A hole of infinite choices! I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Huh. Well, fancy that. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform. Is that what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. <laughs> what was that inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, 
Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Anyway, to think about the oh, no, another way to think about this is if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Monica's advice, everybody. Thanks for listening. All right. Last, but certainly not least, Natsuki. Oh, hello there, grumpy little lady. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt, don't you think, Natsuki? Well, excuse me. That's this is the voice I have her pictured as. It's not like I said it was bad. <laughs> I can't do it right now. Not with the stuff he knows. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Maybe. Maybe I do. I'll pass. Bob! You don't know what you're missing out on, Bob. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. I'm not a... <laughs> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> it's the best poem yet. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. I like it a lot. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you go, you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about the simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. <laughs> like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. <laughs> it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! Oh my god, I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from a youngster... Youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alrighty then. Whew! I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no, <laughs> there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Siori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrow furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri's, Yuri, Yuri, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's a nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Siori liked it. And Bob did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse <laughs> oh, they're gonna fight. Girl fight. Excuse me. 
I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Bob liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, it's on. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Huh? That's not what I... Oh, you, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Oh, God. It's getting exciting now. Maybe you're just jealous that Bob appreciated my advice more than he appreciates yours. <sighs> Did you... <laughs> And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you just full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way and take everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, uh, is everyone okay over here? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Bob started showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to woo me with the big bobs. Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. <laughs> I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both curls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Bob! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could have gotten over herself, I'd learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. And then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Bob. Wait. There's no reason to have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to conv convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not the unnecessarily eliminating... It's not unnecessarily eliminate... Lim eliminating yourself. Limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Bob? Ah, oh, God. Guys, keep me out of this. Just, no. And don't I want to be stuck in the middle of this? Well, can I just, like, run away that way? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, choices. Choices. Oh, God. Well, you know what? Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like Natsuki has some self I like needs needs this more than Yuri does. Yuri's super shy. But I think Natsuki needs it more. She's she's hiding all of that sadness through a web of hatred. And she needs some positive reinforcement right now. Or I could say help me, Sayori, which is probably the more effective way to go about this. Oh, decisions. But I like Yuri. So, I mean, if I wasn't... I would... No, if I was in this situation, I would just be like, Nope! Not getting in the middle of this. I know better than that. But, um, no. Okay, so we're gonna go... Oh, God, the decisions. There we go. Natsuki... Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri... <laughs> but Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. <laughs> Sayori! Uh, yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making a friend feel like this? See? See? You guys just need to relax. Just be happy. Relax. Enjoy each other's writing and company. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. This is unfair for others to inject their own feelings into our conflict. You just... Craziness. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what the stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never! It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... <gasps> she was gonna say nobody likes Yuri. Oh my god. That's right, Sayori. Put the foot down. <laughs> you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? B because. 
well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs were the same they always were. <laughs> Big and beautiful. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. <laughs> Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president, I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Oh, I'm in love. I had to, I figured we're going to save. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it crashed. I think we're back where we were. So we're back with Monica smiling sweetly at me. I'm a little afraid to try and save again. But uh, since a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says, if only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. All right. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It's all right. Well, mostly. Bob, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was nice. It was a neat thing to talk with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same th again. Another poem and maybe learn something from your friends, too. Interesting. So your poems will turn out even better. Great. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about what kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job of impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Bob! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it. All right, everybody. Well, this is the walk home. So I like to, I'm trying to do the episodes in like a, a day. Like we'll do a club and then we'll go home. So maybe we'll just finish this off. Sayori, uh, about what happened earlier, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Bob, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. Uh, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. Yeah, they do. No, that's... <laughs> uh, every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Siori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Ooh. Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Anyways, it's time to write another poem. We're going to end the episode here. If you guys want to see what horrible poem I make in the next one and what everyone else's poems are going to be and what disasters lie ahead, join, tune in for the next one. Is that how you say that? I have no idea. I, don't know. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.